Assalamu alaikum everyone in this video lecture we will be going to discuss the paper pattern of GCE O level biology 5090 so whenever we appear for this course we have to appear for three papers and these are paper 1 paper 2 and paper 4 let's discuss each paper one by one so when we talk about the paper 1 paper 1 is simply a multiple choice question paper or MCQ paper. In this paper, we have 40 multiple choice questions and these questions have four options. We can say each question has four options and out of four, one option is correct that you need to choose. Okay, so there is no choice. You have to attempt all the MCQs. So I would recommend you to not leave any MCQ even if you mark the answer wrong but do mark it right don't leave any mcq maybe the answer you mark gets right okay what are the total marks of paper one these are 40 that means that each mcq is of one mark because there are total of 40 mcqs and time duration for this paper is one hour that is 60 minutes so what should be your practice your practice should be to solve this paper in 40 minutes one minute for each mcq and 20 minutes should be for recheck okay let's move on to paper 2 paper 2 is theory paper which contains structured questions which are actually the short questions and answers right and there are variable number of questions in paper two with variable mark value. For example, there can be seven questions or eight questions or nine questions, right? And each question will have a variable mark value. For example, some questions will be of 11 marks. Some questions will be of 10 marks. Some questions will be of 12 marks. So there's variable mark value and variable number of questions. Again, there is no choice. You have to attempt all the questions. Okay. So the total marks of paper two are 80 and time duration is one hour, 45 minutes. That is 105 minutes altogether. So what you have to do again, your practice should be to solve this paper in 80 minutes and 25 minutes should be for the recheck, right? So for one mark, there should be one minute. Okay. Let's talk about the next paper that is paper four, which is known as alternative to practical paper or ATP. So in Pakistan, the students choose paper four instead of paper three. There is another paper also, which is known as paper three. That is the practical paper or practical test in which you go into the labs and perform the practical and solve the questions accordingly on the question paper. But paper four in paper four, which is alternative to practical, you don't have to perform any practical. You don't need to go in the lab. Simply you appear for a paper which tests your practical skills. So in alternative to practical, there are questions that are from the practical skills taught in O level biology syllabus. So in the biology syllabus, you will be taught several experiments that will be tested in your ATP paper. Again, there are variable number of questions. You can get two questions or three questions or four questions maybe with variable mark value. So the questions will have different mark value. The total marks for this paper are 40 and time duration is one hour. That is 60 minutes. So again, the practice should be to complete the paper within 40 minutes and 20 minutes should be for the recheck. You should know that there is no choice in this paper and you have to attempt all the questions. So there's no choice in all the three papers. Okay. Let's discuss the weightage of all the papers in GC O level biology grade. So for, for example, if you're getting an A or any grade, so each of the paper has some weightage in that grade that you are getting. So what is the weightage of paper one in the total grade? Paper one or MCQ paper has 30% weightage. If you talk about the paper, if you talk about the paper two, that is theory paper, it has 50% weightage. And if you talk about paper three or ATP, it has 20% weightage, which makes altogether 100%. So what do you observe over here that paper two is the most important paper with 50% weightage. So you have to score very good in paper two to get an A. 
but obviously uh, other papers also contribute to the weightage and all the papers must be attempted very well in order to achieve an amazing grade so guys this is all about the paper pattern of gce o level biology 5090 i hope everything is clear to you thank you so much for watching this lecture don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i love is everyone